I'd like to take you through a quick Earth timeline. Let's begin by setting out some of the initials that you'll see. BYA stands for billion years ago, MYA for million years ago, and YA for years ago. Scientists estimate that the age of the universe is about 13.7 billion years, give or take about 130,000 years. The universe is too big for me to show on a slide. They believe that the Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago. The first life on Earth appears by 3.8 billion years ago. These first organic molecules appear to have been very small filaments. What's our evidence? Microfossils, as well as isotopes in rocks. Here, for example, is a picture of filament-like fossils from Australia that may be the remains of microbial mat. Why is evidence for early life problematic? Well, for the first reason, the oldest rocks that are still preserved on Earth today date only as far back as 4 billion years ago. And we have problems with how can you date that rock or fossil? And how can you tell that micro remains were organic? By 2.4 billion years ago, oxygen became a significant component in Earth's atmosphere during what is known as the Great Oxidation Event. We think that the level of oxygen rose because of cyanobacteria, such as that you see pictured here. Beginning around 1.2 billion years ago, we see sexual reproduction in the form of red algae or seaweed. All that oxygen that was produced led to what is called snowball earth. Scientists believe that at least two snowball earth glaciations occurred during the aptly named cryogenian period between 710 and 640 million years ago, each lasting about 10 million years. It's not thought that the entire earth was frozen solid but instead, perhaps there was a lot of slushy ice. Soon after, the first vertebrates appear by 530 million years ago. That is, animals with the back, backbone, like we have. The earliest of these were jawless fish. Today, the only surviving members of jawless fish are the lampreys and the hagfish. Plants appear on land, it is thought, about 500 million years ago, but our oldest known fossils date only to 420 million years ago. The earliest land plants have appeared to have been pond scum. This is based on computing via molecular clocks, which we'll talk about later. The earliest land animals date to 425 million years ago. They appear to have been an extinct genus of myriapod a relative of modern millipedes. Scientists agree that dinosaurs were present by 230 million years ago, and perhaps as early as 240 million years ago. The first mammals date to at least 178 million years ago, and these early mammals lived alongside dinosaurs. These early mammals were quite diverse early on. To summarize, showing a stratigraphic column with the oldest at the bottom and the most recent at the top, we can see when the first vertebrates and land plants occur during the Ordovician, the earliest land animals during the Silurian period, dinosaurs in the Mesozoic, and mammals were added in. At 65 million years ago, an asteroid struck extinctions. This marked the end of the dinosaurs. And our main periods of interest in this course are only the last 65 million years. <laughs>